Hey everyone, this is Alessandro Brooks from Home Chef Seattle. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some fried tomato skins. They are a beautiful and tasty garnish that can be used on salads, on a pasta dish, or even in sandwiches. I am using some beautiful vine tomatoes, but you can use any tomato of your choice. After washing your tomatoes, use a sharp knife to cut across on the bottom end, like so. Bring water to a boil in a big enough pan and add the tomatoes. Boil them for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, immediately transfer the tomatoes to an ice bath to stop the cooking process. Let the tomatoes rest in the ice water for a minute or two. Then, starting from the cross cut on the bottom, peel off the skin. Try to peel each section in one piece. This step is optional, but if there's too much meat left on the skin, you can scrape it off with a knife in order to get a more translucent chip once you fry it. Next, place the tomato skins between layers of paper towel and tap them dry to remove any excess liquid. Add some vegetable oil to a bowl. Then, get a piece of parchment paper and fold it in half. Dip and coat the tomato skins with the oil. Then, try to lay them flat in one half of the parchment paper. Next, sprinkle the tomato skins with some dry oregano and some dry basil. Then, fold the parchment paper over the skins. Place it on a microwave-safe dish and microwave on high for 3 minutes. The time can vary slightly depending on the size of the skins in your microwave oven. Remove them from the microwave, then transfer the tomato skins onto some paper towel to drain. Then, sprinkle them with some salt and the tomato skins are ready. The crispy and translucent skins look like flower petals and make for a beautiful garnish. And besides looking good, they are quite tasty. I am using the crispy tomato skins today as a garnish for a tomato and burrata cheese salad. I'm serving the tomatoes that are peeled earlier with some fresh basil pesto, some pine nuts, and burrata cheese. I really hope you have enjoyed the video, and if you did, please don't forget to like it, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more recipes to come. Thank you for watching.